What's up? I'm Aetha 450X. Very nice to meet you. I am TVS iCube S. You guys already know who I am. I am Ola S1 Pro. I am India's largest selling electric vehicle made in the world's largest two-wheeler factory. Soon, made by an all-female workforce. No. I am... Chill. Together we are India's best and India's best selling electric scooters. So relax. And I am the top of that list. My waiting list, in fact, is more than these two sales probably. I can be seen in every corner of this country. I can't. We believe that we'll go to a place when we are ready to support the rider in every way that they need support. So everywhere in the country, uh, that's not us yet. Brother, that's how we think too. We have a very large network because we are older, but slow and steady. Slow, steady. You guys are fuddy duddies. We get on a truck and we go to wherever the rider is. Patience. It's not the key to success. Brother, why are you so aggressive? It's a very large market and a new market. We can all easily grow our... We also have the largest battery. It's 30% larger than the TVS, 8% larger than the Aether. Only 8%? I thought your battery was even larger than ours. But it's what we do with it, right? I agree, gentlemen. We must make our batteries do useful things for the rider. Otherwise, it's of no use. That's why in eco mode, you get 170 kilometers of range. We can do about 105. We can do 100. We like round numbers. So I win. I knew it. Our eco mode is very clever. It's so slow that the battery discharges very, very slowly. In the city, you don't need acceleration and you don't need top speed. It'll show 45, but it's actually more like 35. Uh, that's cool, but our eco mode is designed to be really useful to the rider. So uh, there's real acceleration and a useful top speed. And if you add our new smart eco option to that, it's even better. We also have a nice eco mode. It lasts 100 kilometers. It's very smooth. It's very easy. That's all. Ours is more useful. When you're riding in hyper mode or sport mode and the battery overheats, we kick you down into eco mode and then you can't change modes and it's a little slow but when you arrive you have lots of battery left wait your battery heats up that much what is he talking about what do you mean yours doesn't no of course there's heat but it needs to be managed right so uh, after kilometers of fast riding maybe then you'll see that the performance will taper off smoothly right and uh, the rider n never has to change modes because of the heat. I mean, yes, in our scooter, the only way to change the mode is for the rider to use the switch. Oh, please, you only have two modes. And even in normal mode, I have more range than you. Well, yeah, you do have the largest battery, so you would. May I ask a question? Does the normal mode also have heat issues? You know, I also have the highest top speed here. 116 kilometers per hour. Impressive. Does the 45 is 35 apply to your top speed too? Brother Aether, you and I, we do the same 80 kilometers an hour, right? Uh, we used to, but uh, we updated our software. So now we're able to do 90, but uh, we think it's enough. Right, we are not designed to be out on the highway anyway. I can do the highway. There's a wide seat and a large under seat storage. Put it in hyper mode, you can overtake anything. In eco mode, you'll go very far. And once your fast charger network gets completed, you'll find it even easier, no? We are building the biggest fast charger network. I've heard about it, Hype Charger, right? Ola Hyper Charger. Super Charger, no? No, that's Tesla. Because we started before you guys, we do have a fairly large network and in most places, it, they're not hard to find, the chargers are not hard to find anymore. At home, it takes only six and a half hours to charge this battery. I need five hours and 40 minutes. But think about it. If you're doing five and something, you are charging overnight, right? So does it matter? We need only four and a half hours. I suppose that's the advantage of having the smallest battery. But I don't have to charge every day. Brother, you know that there are people who charge all of their devices every day just out of habit, right? He's right. 
what we did instead was we figured out how to precisely predict how far the scooter is going to go so the rider can plan ahead and uh, for that there are more tools in our app as well yes we agree this is important and we are working on improving the accuracy of our prediction system also we have already fixed this earlier the battery would show some percentage but the scooter would die that glitch was fixed long ago in fact in the early days we rolled out more fixes than anyone in the industry but shouldn't glitches just like never leave the factory at all how can the rider have a good time if there are glitches you guys are just nitpickers tell me tvs how many compliments have you received on how you look to be honest not very many but i don't need them i am what i look like i am a safe family scooter that is meant to take rider and family around the town comfortably it's easy and simple i have received quite a few in fact so many that uh, the body panels have not changed since the beginning recently we just started offering new colors and uh, that's it we have the largest color range in the industry the amount of innovation i represent you guys can't even begin to imagine it brother how can you make statements like that do we represent a safe purchase a useful vehicle or just a table of innovations you know what your problem is you're not willing to move with the times do you know when the telescopic fork was first used yes by bmw our partner in 1935 on the r12 and the r17 wow almost a century ago nice your partner oh well what i meant to say is it's passe our single sided fork it looks so cool especially from the right side yeah but older technology by itself doesn't make it bad for the rider right it does represent a century of refinement and improvements yes we have enough new tech in the power train not to complicate things elsewhere boring we need to move forward at any cost no the rider must see the benefit of the tech we are giving them otherwise it's just brochure racing i mean telescopic folks they're easy to develop very hard to break easy to maintain and easy to tune that's how i'm able to offer the rider a easy and comfortable ride it's what the family oriented rider wants agreed that's why we run a firmer setup because we are a sporty scooter and the rider should feel that i can do both my front suspension don't believe the media hype and social media and all this it's both tough and comfortable and we've also fixed most of the juddering more glitches all past tense let's change the topic how do you handle the corners what do you do safe and stable this is a family scooter i can go faster on corners if i have to but it's not what i'm meant to do yeah and we are sharp and fun i mean i'm the lightest here we've thin but grippy tires so i love it i'm having such a laugh in the corners me too i have fatter tires and i know what to do with them I corner really well. And have you seen my feature list? Speakers, music controls. You can unlock this scooter with your phone. It unlocks by itself when the rider's phone is close by. I have everything. Speakers want electric vehicles supposed to bring the silence back. And what's wrong with a key? A key will work even when the battery has run out when you need the charger from under the seat. Your chargers are massive. Have you thought about that, brother? My charger is not significantly larger than yours, but they fill up your boot. My boot is so large that even with the charger, there'll be so much space that you won't need anything else. That's why that spine in the floor, it's okay. Well, we can't do much about the size of our charger, so we put it in a felt bag. A bag? Why? It's all about the experience. The bag stops it from rattling around in the boot. That's a great idea. Maybe we should have a bag too. With my super ultra large battery, you won't have to carry the charger around at all. Tell me, have you seen the app? Mine is awesome. Mine is very important. I don't have a touch screen and the joystick is a little hit and miss, so the app does a lot of the work. You know, setting up the navigation, it's all in the app. Ours is pretty slick too. but we also designed this 7 in touch screen so that it does most of the heavy lifting so you may not need the app for everything although it obviously does more than the screen mine is also 7 inches 
but the bezel is so large most people think it's even larger clever no you can change how it looks and we've got so much space we don't even use the top third of the screen for much but why wouldn't you isn't that the part that the rider looks at most normally and naturally guys it's been fun but i do have to split what i wanted to say is that we believe that the rider must have fun and feel like they're riding something special and that's the assurance that causes this price to also be slightly higher so whatever we say in the brochure in the ad film in the website that's real that's what it is and to us that's how it should be oh and uh, my sister's going to be here soon just watch out for her she's pretty good brothers it's been really nice to meet you but i also have to leave now we think the family is not just one rider it's them and their family as riders and as pillion so spacious back seat comfortable the price is nice the mood is calm and comfortable you know this is the experience but my elder brother the st his flight keeps getting cancelled but i think is going to land soon so now i must leave not if i leave first i have the best of everything more features more battery everything Okay, we had a few glitches along the way, but they've all been ironed out. I mean, that's how new technology arrives and settles in, right? What's a little inconvenience today when a software update or two will fix it? You guys, you take your riders way too seriously. But you wait. You think I am the noise maker? Wait till the rest of my family gets here. It's a large family and they'll be so good. There'll be so many features. Do you know we're working on an autonomous car? We will put speakers in those and there will be features in those. They will be the best of everything and they will come from massively good factories. It will